how to make a fabric server and play fabric mods with your friends. Let's do it. First things first, you want to go to the second link in the description down below and that will take you here. This is where you can download fabric. Now you will need to install fabric locally and so will every single person joining your server. So this guide here is great to send to them because it'll let them get fabric installed themselves while you're getting the server set up. Plus you've got to download this anyway because it takes you to the server files. So let's go ahead, click the download fabric button and it will take you to fabric's official download page. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on download universal jar here and then make sure you click save here or keep or whatever it is on your browser to save the universal installer for fabric while this is downloading i do want to mention some stuff about this server though this is not a 24-hour server it's only up and running when your computer is up and running and you're going to need a pretty good computer while fabric is more efficient than let's say forge mods it is still modded minecraft and does use a lot of computer resources when it's running on top of that it's hosted on your own internet connection as well meaning not only do you need a good internet connection Anyone who joins this server gets your IP address, meaning they can DDoS you, hit your internet offline, things like that, as well as figure out where you live and your latitude and longitude coordinates. So it's super important that you keep this private and you only give it out to someone you would invite over to your house. That means this is not a public server, it's just for your friends. Luckily, what if you don't have to worry about any of that? You don't have to worry about security and being DDoSed or anything like that. You don't have to worry about your server having good hardware and your computer having good hardware, and your server can be up 24 7 even if your computer's not offline. Well, well, that's where our company Simple Game Hosting comes in at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple, where you can set up a fabric server in just a few clicks. It's super easy to add mods to your server and customize your server any way that you want. Plus, you can even use mod packs with just one click. We have an amazing one click mod pack installer. And if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. Not to mention that the hardware is designed for modded Minecraft servers and to run them as efficiently as possible. And there's DDoS protection and all of that. So that's not a worry either. So check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple to start a Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, Fabric is now downloaded. We can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we want to create a new folder here on our desktop titled Fabric 1.20.1 Server, or anything else that you want. It's just, this is a Fabric 1.20.1 Server, so might as well go ahead and set it. And I mean 1.21, not 1.20.1, excuse me. Now we're going to go ahead and move the Fabric installer to our desktop. Now we want to open up the Fabric installer. To do that, go ahead and right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java, or you do have Java, and you double click on it, or you click on it here, click OK, and it doesn't work. Well, that's because you need a new version of Java. Specifically, you need Java 21 for Minecraft 1.21, and this is linked in the description down below with a complete guide on getting Java set up and running for your Minecraft servers, specifically Minecraft mods and servers, and well, this is a modded server, so we definitely need Java 21. Once you've got Java 21, we also recommend running the jar fix. Just going to link all the jar files on your computer to Java 21 once you have it. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and minimize our browser and open up this Fabric installer. Now, the first thing we want to do in the Fabric installer is install the client. So we're just going to make sure we click client here. I have 1.21 selected and click install. That'll install. Now we're good to go. Click OK. And now we want to go to the server tab up here at the top. Make sure 1.21 is selected again. And next to launch your location, click these three dots. Then navigate to the folder you created on your desktop. In our case, Fabric 1.21 server. Click open and then click install. And now what it's doing is downloading the stuff for Fabric, but we're not quite done yet. We now need to click on download server jar. That'll download the server jar, and now we're completely finished. You should also go ahead and click generate here as well to generate the launch scripts. So after that's all said and done, you've installed the client back here in the launcher. You've clicked download server jar, and you click generate. You can click done. And when we go into the Fabric 1.21 server, everything's here. Everything's here to start our server. All we've got to do is double click on this start.bat file and it's going to fail, but it's going to attempt to start the server. The reason it's going to fail is we'll need to agree to the Minecraft EULA, but first we need the server to fail to start and generate it. As you can see, press any key to continue because you need to agree to the Minecraft EULA. Click that, but we have this EULA.txt file. Open it up in Notepad, and assuming you agree to the Minecraft EULA, which we do, change EULA equals false here to EULA equals true. T-R-U-E exactly like that. Then click File, Save. Now, when you double click on the start file here, your server is going to start. And you can actually join your server at this point. 
but your friends can't join. We'll cover that in a minute though. Let's go ahead and join our server just to make sure we can because also right now if your server is lagging at this moment, it's definitely going to be lagging in the future if you're, you know, having your friends online and stuff like that. So it's easier to test it now before you go through all the processes that are needed to set your server up to allow your friends to join. Make sure you're playing Minecraft when you do join it with your fabric installation for 1.20.1 here. So we're going to go ahead and play Minecraft using that. And then once we're in game, joining this server is pretty easy for you, right? Your IP address for this server is going to be localhost. So here when we're adding the server, you can name it whatever you want. We're going to name it local connection. And then the server address is localhost, right like so. And then click done. It's going to take it a few seconds. And there it is, local connection. We can double click and we can join on in. You know you can join, run around, make sure it's not lagging, things are good, and if it is, you can move on to allowing your friends to join. Now, in order to do that, you're going to need to port forward, and in the description down below, we have this, a complete guide on how to port forward a Minecraft server. It goes over everything in depth in text format, as well as video format, and it will work with any router that's out there today. We give you all the common terms, resources to look at, all of that stuff, so go check this out if you want to go ahead and get things set up and running on your server for your friends to join. Sadly, YouTube doesn't like it when we include all this in one video, so we have to separate it like this, and this port forwarding guide is for sure to help you out. But what about adding mods to your server? Well, any mods that you add, we'll want to make sure for the fabric mod loader here, and for 1.21. As you can see here, there's a few that have already released. 1.21 came out today, so there's not a ton. And we have Curse Wars link below, and Moderinth, both of which are trusted sources, and we can go to fabric here and go ahead and select 1.21 to see all the fabric options. Let's go ahead and get simple voice chat installed really fast just to show you what that's like. When we do go to versions, we want to make sure that we're getting the fabric version, of course, for 1.21, and we'll be installing this both on the server and locally, because all the mods need to be on the server and in your local installation. So we'll come here and click download and save that download. Now with this downloaded, we're going to go ahead, disconnect here, and close out of this, as well as stop the server, and then we want to find the file that we downloaded. For me, that's going to be in the downloads folder here, we want to drag that to the desktop. Now we want to go into our server here, this is our server folder, right, and there's a mods folder. You you want to go ahead and move voice chat into here but right click on it as well and click on copy once you move your mod in and this will work with any mod not just voice chat add it here as long as it's for fabric 1.21 then we want to open up the Minecraft launcher because any mod that is on the server also needs to be installed in your local Minecraft installation when we're in the launcher we need to go to our local mods folder I'll show you how to do that. It's really simple. Just go up to installations at the top, hover over your fabric installation, and click the folder. Here you'll have a mods folder, and if you don't, you can just make one, right? So just right click new folder, and then title it mods. M-O-D-S, right like so. Open that up, and then right click and paste that simple voice chat mod. If for whatever reason that didn't work, you can go and copy it again, re-download it, whatever you need to, but it needs to be in this mods folder here within your .minecraft folder, and it needs to be in the mods folder on your desktop, this fabric 1.21 server mods folder. Now, if we go ahead and start this server using the start.bat file, and we go ahead and start Minecraft using our fabric installation, this mod will be active once we get in game. And again, this will work for any Minecraft 1.21 mod that is fabric. So any fabric 1.21 mod this will work with, and we can already see, press V to set up simple voice chat. It's gonna walk us through all this, all of that stuff, gives you any information you need, what microphone you wanna use, what headphone outputs you wanna use, all of that. Voice activation, push, push to talk, what do you want? It can all be set up, and then you're good to go. It's, it's now set up, and you're talking on the server. So yeah, if you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And actually, wait, I was about to do the outro, but we're still not done. In the description, we have amazing resources for you. How to add more RAM to your server, right here that is. How to allow Java through your Windows Defender Firewall. This is commonly an issue if your friends can't join after you port forward. This could be why. And how to fix broken Minecraft servers. This is literally just 20 minutes of us fixing broken Minecraft servers, including modded servers. Now that you're a server admin, having all of these resources in your back pocket can really help so I wanted to provide them to you. So there you have it. That is how you can make a fabric server in 1.21. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.